Hi guys, and welcome to the Rainbow Six Replays YouTube channel. Today we want to present the video highlights of the match between Team Elevate and Team No Cap during the Asia League 2024 Stage 2. Don't forget to subscribe and put a like. Enjoy. Three bulletproof cameras, so they have no plan to whatsoever. If Elevate walk into a breach, they can stop planting and that should be the end of it. Well, here comes the Candelas, here come the flashes, but the entry is somewhat slowed down. By a goo mine. Oh, nice shot from Mark from close on the half wall. He's now going to worry about this player on the balcony. But it seems like Elevator's slowing down. Bringing out the shotgun. That's a good move. But Enhai Cal living up to his reputation. Up a finds one as well. And Aguirre's gone down. Oh, good flank what? watch. But DCH somehow finds his kill. And Mark has regressed as well to retake this half wall position. Awkward positioning now. But DCH has found one. All up to MC now. I think his position has been revealed. They know exactly where he is. They need to not overpeak him. DCH, that's dangerous. There is still Onigiri with the electric cores for plant denial, or for wall denial, rather. And he does still have one. What are you uh, doing, DCH, man? Where are your headphones? Sure. Even I could hear that. There's a player on the window repel. Potentially a C4 from below could kill him. Nicely placed. Oh. However, well dodged as well by Enhai Cow. Oh! So sharp right now, upside down repelling. Four rather is a decent look position for no cap. And this top floor control still hasn't been taken. As I say that, Speakies, he wants to make his move on through. On a gear, he's found one. He's holding on to half wall, traded back. There's still one more player in this top floor. Mr. Punch is trying his oh best. Oh my god. And he's taken one before he falls. It's up to Mark now in a one. 20 seconds left. They do have to file in through the doorways or the hatch, and it looks like they're going to double refract this position. I don't believe there is a breach on the main wall. Very late breach coming through. They should know he's on this 9 degree angle. He should win this. They try and bait out the shots with some shoulder peaks. He finds nothing! I thought he would at least find... I really respect the, uh, the train of thought there from Elevate. It's so risky to drop down a hatch because like you're mid-air, you can't move and get very dicey very quickly. So doubling up fireplace might seem like a... What, what kind of place? That, that's really risky, but no, I think it's actually the safest choice there. They just stack up and they, so they swing the door at the exact perfect angle. You see it right here. They're tacked up shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. Flushed out of position. The Candelas come. And meanwhile, the Deimos is down below. He's likely to be spotted here, though, and I think he'll lose his fight. Up a upstairs. Does fall eventually on a Giri holding onto that library stairs position before being traded back by the Ying. DCH, he was the Fenrir upstairs. He's finally taken down, but he's dealt damage. Mar, oh, speak easy. Elevate, we're gonna push that side door. 3v3. Here's the big flank potential from Scatman. Mr. Punch is low, and they know where he is. And now he's taken out. The clutch potential is there. But can Scatman win it? First pick, More. second pick. It's a 1v1. He knows the diffuser's dropped. Doesn't have impacts to work with. Speak easy, walks into that tread mine. I think he's got that diffuser, he's gone back. The hatch can be open. Speakies, he's surely he can't stick this, but Balls of Steel, he'll do it anyway. He gets off, he fakes it, walks into a goo mine. Scatman just has to hold on. There's no way this can be won by the attack. What a big 1v3 for Scatman. It's so hard to figure out, guys, what's going wrong this round? Because it comes down to what you're feeling when it's playing out right in front of you. Scatman right here, having the patience to say, you know what, they're probably going to go for the smart play and go for a default plan because they don't know where I am. I'm flanking this without being detected. He's on the prowl. He's looking for it. But they're all towards the backside, actually. Yeah, Scatman's actually going all the way up top as well. There was information though, Speakies, he was watching a drone. I don't know if Scatman had activated his ability or not, but he's caught out. Meanwhile on site, it's not all sunshine and rainbows for Elevate. But they have found the advantage. They're tossing up where to play this now. There's a long angle here. This angle goes both directions. There are ACOGs on the defense. Ooh. Mark with the DMR finds his. Onigiri's gone down as well. DCH in an awkward position now, low HP, and Mark here with this long angle has to make good, but he gets his head taken off. Speakeasy planting. Top four, they have a flank of our first four, and they say, you know what, let's just do a very simple, good old rank take. Breach open, boiler, just to the left here. Breach the single wall that we just saw, right there, and just walk in and plant. It's a super simple way to lock down the clear position and bridge for that push. We're gonna go for this one. Wilkes out, lies out, bits in. And the blitz is already made good. Taken down one. This is an explosive entry. It's worked so well. What a beautiful pocket strat here for Elevate. It's left DCH and Mark with more questions than answers. 
Mark finally does find one. Traded back. It's all up with ECH now. I don't think they know. I don't think they expect another player to come from the same position. But Ape has got... And they've also got this little sneak up from Ape. Doesn't matter. The Doku has been nerfed. The round is deep enough. It enables it. Haikal to go in. How does he win that fight? Traded back again. Needing the kill here is Mr. Punch. And he does get it with the shotty. Not usually a shotgun you can trust. But the round has panned out pretty... Fishing, as I like to say. Hoping that somebody overextends, aggresses, holds a big of an angle. They don't pick oh, up the no. fuser. Well, they might not matter. Scatman finds one. It's just out to speakies with a DMR in hand. That's not going to be easy. Yeah. Walking to a crossfire as well. Finally, he can go get the diffuser. Recovered the bomb diffuser. But I think that this is the end of the rope. Four speakeasy, three players to find. Yamar's not terrible. Oh, there's info on him. Yeah, good luck with that one. He's teased a little bit by Scatman. He can't take the bloody camera out and he gets and swung by Onagir. There's redundancy here. One of these players loses a fight. You've got exactly. another one to back it on up. But here comes the hard breach as well. This push is going to come through quickly and Haikal wins his fight though. They can clear out that shield and just go for a plan. But a bit of an unnecessary aggression there for Onagir perhaps. No follow up. Fenrir mine was there as well. That net is closing for Elevate. They're saying, you know what? We got the side block. We can go for a flank if you want to, applying pressure Jack everywhere on towards no cap. This looks so good for Elevate. You've got the player behind the shield being the warden, and he's found a pick. Smoke doesn't matter. The Vulcan Canisters detonate. Scatman's finally found a pick on the flanker, but it's way too late. And now he's got four more to find. That's going to be the end of the round, surely. A consolation frag or two, perhaps? Doesn't matter. Just hold on to their positions. You have one plan left if you're no cap. That is just running in to get, to get in those kill, win the 1v1s, because strategically this round is over for you on the attack inside. Elevates, they've locked you out completely. Such a good setup from Elevate. They can just sit patiently and wait for the onslaught. C4 ready. C4. Also going to go out. I don't think it's even going to be necessary. Mr. Punch finally finds his pick upstairs. And the fuse has got to be picked up by Scatman. He goes deep. On Agiri is still up. He needs to find kills, but neither of them do. And Elevate is rolling towards Library Balcony, but they need those Capital Fireballs. There's no Wamai, there's no way to stop them, so they should strike true, but they're not being used to dislodge any of these positions. Scatman is good for one, it's out of Fireplace, that's a good start, but need more. Oh, almost finds another one, a little bit damaged on both directions. The gear he's found here, but Speakeasy on site, traded by Mark. And Haikal is half HP, and Ape is still up and alive. And Haikal is a deadly, deadly fragger, though. He's got 12 kills in the game so far. Ape needs to have an impact though, he's about to get hunted down by Onagiri, low HP, but it doesn't matter. It's all up to the young gunner himself, N Haikal, who has been phenomenal today. You know, one versus three, we've seen a big 1v3 on this side by Scatman, can we see it replicated on the other side? He seems to know where Mark is, Onagiri is also going above now. These two attackers now defending the side are separated, oh, no. but Mark comes what? up. Look at this, any idea this is happening, so again, the right timing, you can stop the entire push here. Oh, come on, land a shot. There we go. Scatman finally gets it. But here comes in Haikal, as you said, the big flanker. He's had his moment. Ape is also gone for a huge flank as well. Now Scatman has to come through and refrag this. Seconds remaining. But the Azami keep a barrier makes oh. it difficult. Oh. Nice shot. Big flick onto Ape. 2v3, but he's still chasing ghosts upstairs. Meanwhile, Onigiri is floundering on site. There is nothing to be done for no cap. The round is over. The game may be dead in the water. Elevate, have themselves match point. Either strategically on their operators or, of course, on their map control. They didn't do the full run clear. And I do think, once again, that kind of comes down to their operators. Like I was saying, every single life is so valuable to them. Because if Thermite dies, no hard breach. If Ram dies, no soft breach. If Capital dies, no fire or smoke is on site. No you gotta get in there. Yeah, Stop valuing thought... your life so much, boys! You gotta get in! I thought Onigiri was gonna jump in, but he's still too scared to do so. And now look at this aggression from Speakeasy. He does get shut Good. down by Mr. Punch, but meanwhile, Mark's gone down, and Shed has come back for the trade in. Unless you're there's Goyo fire, or a smoke, or a small being thrust out, for example, but again, they're locked out. Look at this no! collapse. What? NLQ is so what? good. He's good for two. He's gonna shut them down immediately in the entry. They completely forgot about the library stairs. They never cleared it. And Haikal's been there the whole round. Unaddressed. No cap now being punished. Bit of a shot there from Scatman. Almost takes N Haikal down. 1v4 for the game. With his trusty DMR, he walks into a three-way crossfire and survives.
Look at Elevate. They are so patient. They're not giving him anything. Not giving him a chance to get into this. All of them playing passively. This is pixel perfect play from Elevate. We're finally seeing them get back into it. This is the performance of a top three team right here. And they won't give him a chance to clutch up. Big game from Elevate.